Fixed it. It feels right to start this episode with the mad fella who bought this car off me and did nothing but give out for the hour and a half he was here loading it. We had to purge and re-consecrate the ground to make sure that that car couldn't haunt us. left of one. What you reckon? Will it run? We have two spark plug leads are off but the spark plugs are in the engine. I have no radiator and the hoses are absolutely shy. Oh, I can see my thermostat. <laughs> Where um, did you get this thing? I got this from an absolute legend called Lenny Morrissey. He got onto me, uh, or I got onto him right. I reached out and said that I'd love to have the car on the show, and he actually said that he knew the show and would like thought it would be a cool idea. So the absolute gent that he is, he dropped the car to me. So I'll stick all his um, info in either somewhere around here or at the end in the credits or something but uh in the description probably. 100% man legend for doing this so hopefully we'll make, get it to run once more for you so the next thing we have to do is um check and see if the engine free the crank is 15 mil so whether that's the equivalent imperial i don't know but let's see if it turns heat Oh. oh, oh my god. Oh, go on. It's turning, but it's been a long time since it turned. <laughs> it feels like it has compression. Yeah, it does. Wow. So we're, we're going with German built then, yeah? <laughs> because, because we've had a British built car. She's going to run, lads. 
<laughs> this car, Jack, uh? was made in Western Germany. Oh, cool. It doesn't appear to be in gear, and the engine's turning, so if it is in gear, the gearbox is separated from the engine. One sec. I I'll mean, check that, but is this a good way of getting into the glove box lottery? <laughs> Alright, let's do it, so. <laughs> You're never finished finding a round SH1T. Another Harley pitch up on the Bag bug. Oh, we? Oh, those posh bastards. A rack, no alarm. Come on, Chief, I got that. Please, please, please. Nazi war memorabilia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can you get in the other window, do you think? Oh my god, there's so much <laughs> floor. Don't be afraid of it. I can't physically get in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> are you getting on there? Nope. You, look at those oh. clocks. Those beautiful clocks on. So you go, <laughs> the speed only goes up to 100 miles an hour. Fucking <laughs> Get back in there. Look at that gear stick. Yeah. Hanging. I think it's in neutral. Yeah. Yeah, sweet, it's in neutral, so that's good. The steering wheel work. Oh, yes. Yeah. We got steering. Look at all those light switches. So cool. Low beams, high beams, fogs, is it? <laughs> low beams. <laughs> low beams, still on low beams, fan. Yeah, she's got a couple of speeds. Oh, so cool. Oh, look at the wiper blade. Yeah, made, made in Germany. Germany. Yeah, just pity it's not Ooh. attached to the car anymore. Ah, oh, sure. Look, she's she's nearly ready for the test, lads. <laughs> Mighty. <laughs> right, let's take some of this absolute filth out of the car, and we can see what we're working with. Maybe she'll come up a bit in the middle if we take out some crap. Oh. Like, I don't know if this seat is attached to the floor or not. Do you know? <laughs> I mean, it could be attached to the floor, oh, but the floor... It is still attached to the floor, and there's that much play in it. Give us a look. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, it's not. It's just caught on this bar. No, it's not. Look. Oh, it's the carpet that's, that's keeping it on. Look, that's what's left of the floor of the car. It's completely gone, like. Right. Still, oh. we've, we've seen worse around here. Go on. I've driven worse into town. <laughs> <laughs> right, we need to get a bin going for this. You mean this isn't the bin, no? Huh? Oh. No, we're men. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> That's a real bird. <laughs> we turn red and then it peels off and we're tanned. <laughs> the only time I go red is for sham. Deep seated sham. I cut to a shot of the charge down the road like. <laughs> What do we not be able to do a donut on the Mazda MX-5? <laughs> <laughs> Alright lads, we've got a bit of lead replacement, which is what this engine needs. Go on. Oh so, yeah, it's a type of valves. Uh, the modern petrol doesn't have lead in it and it uh, burns out the valves, so you need to put that stuff in. Ooh. Look at the curve on that. Yeah, Solid glass as well. It's the kind of stuff that if you crash your car, it breaks and happens, slices you in half, decapitates you. It's the good stuff. The good stuff, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. The good stuff. When men were men and being decapitated meant you wouldn't even be left for work. <laughs> oh, look, there's a ton of spares in the back and it's awful specific stuff, I think. Hold on. Can you pull the seat out of the way, no? Oh, check it out, look. Ooh, look at that. Four, four dog dishes. They're, they're the hubcaps from a Chevette. They're later model ones. Steering column with a key and an ignition. <laughs> Starter motor. A generator. Oh, ghost. Either a generator. I say it's a generator, not an alternator. I don't know how to tell. What's the difference between alternator and generator? Yeah, one generator, one alternate, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs welding? Solex carb. That's cool. Uh, really? Check it out lads, the float is actual cork. I was gonna... The for the fuel is actual old cork. Sweet. Epic. Baby Jesus. <laughs> and there's an amount of stuff. Half the episode would be this shite. 
cool. Clocks. Yeah. Free Same dash. ones as well, like. Super cool. Oh yeah, let's check the actual glove box for the glove box lottery. Assembled by Ray Armstrong Motors, I was right, so made in Germany but put together and Harold Reginald Armstrong was born in 1928 in Lower Leeson Street, Dublin. Reg had a spectacular racing career during which he rode for all of the leading teams and even featured in the 1957 film Engaged to Death. His greatest moment came on Friday the 13th of June 1952 when he won the senior TT in the Isle of Man. Armstrong's done it. He's done it. He's taken Graham. Neck and neck. Now he's yielding an inch. This despite his chain snapping and falling off his Norton motorcycle. In October 1953, Reg set up a car assembly factory in Dublin. Engines and body pedals of NSU motorcycles and cars would arrive at the factory to be put together. In the early 1960s, the first Honda motorbikes ever sold in Ireland were assembled at the factory in Ring's End, and Reg also secured a major contract to complete German Opel cars there from 1962 to 1975. Reg was not only a very wealthy man, but also one of many extraordinary talents. Was also a skilled angler and expert clay pigeon shooter winning a gold medal for Ireland at the World Clay Pigeon Shooting Championships in Korea in 1978. Sadly, Reg's life ended when his Opel Senator left the road, hit a tree and ended up in a ditch in Wicklow in 1979. Vintage fags. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Unbelievable. Fuck your Normally we get a shot of you going. Those are perfect. Not this time, I'm afraid. How is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're Come on. Man, that actually looks. <laughs> Here at Jack Corbett's coat work, we take pride in our quality. <laughs> oh, look, Carrigan. Sweet jeans. Let's, yeah, let's, for lunch. let's find a battery terminal. How are you expecting this to run? Yeah. Like, have you spark? Don't lean on. <laughs> have you spark plugs that will fit it? Don't know. Don't know. I found the part for the battery that's not attached to the car anymore, technically. And there's the positive. It's the only positive in this car. <laughs> Right. Uh, how does the coil get a signal? I'm gonna to have to power the coil myself. Any oil there? Tell you know in two minutes. Shimilky. <laughs> 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 it's nice to see a Disney cap again. Geez, I haven't seen one of them in about five cars. <laughs> It has got plenty of oil and it looks grand actually. <laughs> it does, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's gas. So it turns, it has oil. What's that for? Uh, carburetor. Yeah, it has a carb. And it is. It is. Seized. Carb? Yeah. WD party. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. It'll be easier man, you see. 
Oh my god. Like, I know, that's the WD-40. I thought I'd give a shot of petrol there. I was like, from away or like, there is, <laughs> like, the petrol lean to the pump isn't even attached. That's where our fuel is, that's where our fuel is going to be going home. And I doubt that pump is working, but if it is, we'll see it coming up. We surely will not see anything coming out of that pump, will we? Doubt it. What we need to work on now is powering that coil and seeing if it has spark and then just getting the starter to start and shooting a bit of goo into it. Easy to do. <sighs> Not maybe just gonna turn the key and go. Yeah, turn the key in gear and drive it out to get it. So We've no key and like I, I don't think touching a battery off those poles is gonna be fucking anything. With all the rust. Yeah. I'll try it and see. What the shots are Jesus Christ. Jesus. The Germans have never let us down before. Oh, it's full on Flintstones job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holy. That's just a, just a stone pattern on the carpet. Of <laughs> <laughs> oh, not much up here now, lads. I saw it start turning. Straight up to the veins. Turn the ignition. Serious? Hardly. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're joking. I mean, that's a starting motor, isn't it? Jesus Christ, is there lights? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen these lights? Starter motor trying to work. Yeah. Yeah. Outrageous. Got anything in there that I can give it a whack? No. Oh, what I need to do is put a good battery onto this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually like, <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> so, okay, okay. Before Thanks, we sorry. put a big battery on it, let's. Never judge a book by its cover, lads. Okay. <laughs> what if the cover of the book says I don't work? <laughs> yeah, I'm broken inside. <laughs> With the battery connected and the ignition turned on, <coughs> lol, I'm gonna just see if is there spark in the distributor. Are you alright there, buddy? Anyway. Ready or did you make it? It was already broken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Dan and Keith. Yeah, right. I'm just gonna give this a poke, open the points and see are the sparking. No. Nothing. Nothing. It's all there, it's all connected up. Mm. This fella. <laughs> I need to give this 12 volts. Need a bit more? Make it stuck on it. Oh, sorry. Alright, sound. Alright, I'm gonna give this coil. She's sparking anyway. Let's see what the points are doing now. Oh. Hey! It's cut spark! What the ah, for fuck's sake. <laughs> This is, this is not working. You like it? Unbelievable. I'm gobsmacked that any of this has done anything. I cannot believe that that motor starter motor trying to turn. Now the other side of it is it's definitely not turning, so it's, we're going to have to take it off and get it freed up to get this. This car is sparking, the carburetor is turning, which means it has all the things it needs to run like. Nuts. Be... Nuts. Like, fully nuts like. I'm just going to turn the cranking, put it on a high point where it's going to lift, open and close the points. I'm just going to see, is it, will it do it itself? Oh, yeah. See that, did you? Mm, yeah. Do it again. I just know when they open it'll spark yeah. every time a really yeah. good spark as well that's nuts 
for ages. This car is going to run. You can't let lads. Run up and down the road. <laughs> what I need to do now is go at the start or off. I land very hard. And uh, oh yeah, pull the plugs and see where they turn. That's a good call, yeah. Yeah. I'll do that next. But We're 55 seconds into a new scene. <laughs> All right. Let's see if the pumps come out. Jesus, would you look at that, huh? Jesus Christ. Coming out perfect. The Mazda ones were way harder to get out than this. Yes, they're all there as well. Not too bad, they're foul, like, but I mean, not bad. Oh, foul, yeah. Oh. But they're broken. Yeah. If you have. Pretty sure I have, yeah. Similar. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'll, take, I'll, I'll check and see if I got some before I take the rest of them out. Fuel pump and spark plugs from a bed for a van, which is essentially the same kind of engine, so hopefully they go in. What are the chances of that? Did you have a bed for a van, did you? There's some I didn't prepare earlier. I can't believe we're at this position or this point already, like, to get a battery. As well. A bit more juice. Yeah. Can I hold that out of the way? Oh, yeah. okay. Alright, let's try and start this car again. that it's trying to turn the, the starter. I'm just gonna try and bridge the starter. See what happens. Or if anything happens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, good lad. Yeah, it's yeah. seized. So the starter has to come out, so I wish to get it free. Mm. No biggie. While we're here, we'll see how free that engine moves with the spark plugs out. Sweet. Oh, it's moving there now. If he says the words Woodruff Key, we're just getting in the car and driving, okay? <laughs> <laughs> just be ready <laughs> to take Tacky up the road. It's quite rhythmic, wasn't it? That was a nice little. Nice, yeah. Any musician? <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's very tight. <laughs> Go on. That's just spinning without doing anything. Oh, it's just not engaging. It's not engaging the flywheel. Yeah. Getting there, though. I'm closer. I might hit that starter a couple of bells. Because in theory, it shouldn't have done that, right? Like, whaling on the crank shouldn't have moved the starter no. unless it was locked in. It could have been locked on the... On the um, with the, with the engage. The flywheel. Yeah. Could have been a slip back. But, uh, yeah, it might have. Yeah, might have. I need to get a, a steel bar. <laughs> Sophisticated tools only. What are you doing, Jack? I'm giving the starter a couple of whacks uh, to try and free it up so that it will, will engage the flywheel gear. on this properly get a new hobby <laughs> and this will just give it a bit of a boost will it yeah. Yeah. a bit of a spark down now like oh 
Oh, what just happened there? Watch that crank. What? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? With the ignition switch. With a key. With a key. But with the ignition <laughs> with switch. With a key. Lads. In Limerick, that's a key. Lads. So we have spark, a turn, working starter, and we've a way of getting fueled into it. If this thing fires, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah. <laughs> How long will it take us to get to Dublin? <laughs> you probably get there faster than you would in his focus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn it off for a while before Spark comes in and try and get it moving easy because chances are that starter on battery isn't going to drive that stiff engine with compression. Let's see. Spark plug back in, put the rotor cap back on, put power to the coil and shoot some juice down the, car the carburetor. That's it. This is as yeah. simple as it gets, like, you know. These things, like, they just don't want to die. And we'll go at it again. <laughs> and Marlene will have the fry on. <laughs> this is real episode one vibes. You know? Yeah, it's the same kind of like evening and atmosphere and ambient noise. Fully expecting it not to start. Yeah. So like, what are we thinking about? Taxes out since 1984. So has this car not started in 37 years? Like, hardly. <laughs> Let's find out. Nope, oh, it's perfect. That's got that mine. Ridiculous carry on. If this thing even splutters, I'm calling it a win. Right, just get a bit of petrol. <laughs> I think I'll be saying that after an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything, this is I've already said too much. <laughs> this is a bit of two stroke. So it's petrol with a bit of oil mixed into it. Using on like two stroke engines with chainsaws and lawnmowers and stuff. Right. Will it run? <laughs> 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 Definitely got spark anyway, lad. Like that spark is enough for me to call it that we got this car firing like sparking like yeah. ridiculous. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's worse it's getting. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm, that's a win, lads. <laughs> that's a win. That's a win. I'm putting the electric fuel pump on this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. How? Like, how is this? How is this running? Nice and deep like. That's it, boy. Get in there nice and deep like. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that, like, without taking the piss now, Jack, where is that fire extinguisher can that you had earlier? Oh. <laughs> 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 
Like I, I don't want to be put off the road, but I'm okay losing my beard to a fire. Just getting fuel. I can turn that off now. Is it going into the car, yeah? Yeah, it has fuel, so that's grand. All right, you ready? Lads, if that was in gear, it was into the jail. <laughs> oh so you didn't, my you, god. You didn't find the accelerator then, no? No, I didn't. <laughs> What's the goal now? Just to see if you can get it to idle? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> can you, did you think that we that would become our goal? Yeah, walking. This thing. <laughs> I thought we were going to fail like we do with the Bedford again. Unreal. <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Sick! This car's delicious. Oh! But also, how <laughs> long has, this, has it been since this car ran? Like, like, like decades! What did the tax disc say? 84, July 84 was the last tax disc. There's only one thing for it, lads. More fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing running. Such a stretch. That's what we've got again. <laughs> Wrap it up, and show your hands and wrap it up. <laughs> See you next time on the next episode. Go home. You're not going to get a better day than that, like. Still running anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that scared the bollocks out of me. <laughs>